Hi everybody, my name is Tim, or Dr. Ravel, or Professor Ravel, but I prefer just to go by my first name, so please call me Tim. This is going to be a bio two quick introduction, part one, I'll probably do a second part in a little bit, and I want to point out just a couple of things. Number one, uh, at my website that you can see on the screen here, uh, I'm going to put my syllabus up and the first couple of lectures. Those will probably be up, if they're not up already, within the first week before school even starts. Number two, uh, I suggest that you subscribe to this YouTube channel and pay attention to the Bio2 playlist where I'll put all these videos. I'm not monetized by YouTube. I don't get paid by YouTube. You can unsubscribe anytime you want, but this is going to allow you to know when I put videos up much faster than when I put them in Canvas. Eventually, I'll put all the links up in Canvas, but you're going to find that you can get it much faster if you've subscribed and you have your notifications turned on. So, videos that I put up in that Bio2 playlist, you might want to check out. If you're interested in adding, if you're on the wait list, please make sure you show up the first day. I get a ton of people trying to add. I get a lot of email requests, people trying to add. I usually have the wait list is usually totally full. But what I found over the many years of doing it is that most of the time, people don't actually show up on the first day or in the first week. So lots of people will contact me, but very few actually will take the initiative to try to show up to add. So be ready to show up that first day because I would say I'm usually able to add 80 to 90 percent or more of the people. Bio2 is a very time consuming course with a ton of stuff to memorize. One thing you can start on right now is memorizing the geological time scale that you see here. And although it looks overwhelming and there's a lot of parts to it, there are some simple ways that you can do things like come up with acronyms to memorize it. For example, one of my former students, Perla Hachi, right here, who's now a PhD student, she came up with the acronym Peter Pan Must Cry. That allows her to remember Precambrian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, Cenozoic. And you can come up with any acronym you want and students do to memorize any of those parts. But having the geological time scale learned pretty well or entirely before we even start puts you in a really good starting spot as we move into the semester. Okay, I hope everyone's doing well. Looking forward to seeing everybody soon. I'll follow up with another video later on talking about taxonomy, but that's it for now. Hope everybody's having a good day. Talk to you all soon.